The, it is, it's a question on, on everyone's mind, why, <laughs> why mercy? Well, I, it sounds a bit simple to say, uh, well, why not? Now, the big problem is that most of the world is structured on why not? I mean, the world, the exploitation, the violence and all that, it's, no, there's no mercy. Even the media, um, that uh, they don't like mercy. They like vindictiveness. And uh, if someone is a prison sentence, why not? Why isn't it more? So there's a, there's a kind of, a, even though everyone likes mercy in theory, it doesn't work out like that in practice, that they want the last the pound of flesh. So, of course, it's the, the absolute key central biblical thing, I want mercy and not sacrifice. However, it's very hard to hold that line. In the prayer of your last breath, is it mercy for all or is it justice for all with an implication of punishment? So I think it's, and also the second part of your question, why now? Well, I think people have become so, uh, so hardened, the heart of stone, you know, and all this, that, uh, that uh, unforgivable things. And if uh, we're not careful, our lives can become a catalog of unforgiven things, the way we see ourselves and see others. So every now and then we have to be open to this uh, effusion, this outpouring of mercy, which can come only from God. Of course, part of it, part of it is that it's from God. It's not our general mercy, but the mercy of God. Be merciful as your heavenly Father is merciful. So I think now is, uh, first of all, the general catch-up of all religion and society into what it's all about the profound humanity, and secondly for us Christians, what do you want to risk? Of course we have to have a, you know, a, a proper ethic and doctrine and all that, but when all is said and done, what is the crucial thing? The mercy of God. The mercy of God is without end.